Someday we'll get paid for this. We are at Oscar's Tavern in the heart of Center City, Philadelphia, and this is Drinking Again. Say hello to uh, my buddy Brian McManus. Brian is a raconteur, That's man right. about town, mm -hmm. and he pays the bills as the food and and uh, automotive editor of Philadelphia I'm the, I'm the, Weekly. Right. I, I'm the food and banking editor at Philadelphia Weekly, which is a uh, a free newspaper that no For one people reads. People who eat and deposit money. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know, it's kind of Actually, the backbone of the economy. Come on, we comedy. both know you're the food and uh, music editor. Music yeah, editor. That's right. Of, uh, I think I knew that. I'm not sure if you knew that's it. That's right. You did. Right. And of course, the the author of, of this uh, tune, the definitive guide to Philadelphia's best dive bars. So let's get uh, Tanya over here, and uh, all right, all right. I'm sure yeah. you order drinks. Yeah. Hi, Tanya. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'll have. What hour is it? 11 a.m. I'll have a long island iced tea. This is one of your favorite spots and an altogether appropriate place to talk about the concept of the dive bar. This yeah. is Oscars, and Oscars, is it too much to call it a legend in this town? Oh, I would call it a legend. legend I, you right? know, it's the first. I, I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Don't hold it against me. Mm -hmm. I got here six years ago, and this is the first bar I came to. I got invited by my predecessor at the paper to meet him here at at three o'clock in the afternoon and we drank until we had to take a train home. And uh, it was just, it was very unlike Houston to me. It was like a very diverse uh, group of people. There were, you know, different age groups, different uh, classes, like a, a lawyer sitting next to a skateboard kid and uh, different races, which is, you know, completely different yeah. from Houston. And uh, I kind of fell in love instantly. So let's begin there with the notion of uh, the dive bar. All right, you want to take a drink first? Yeah. Cheers to you. Throw down a little and of Breakfast of Champions drink. I think you need the straw. Price is a big factor, isn't it, when it, when it comes to dive bars? Yeah, well, this is, I, I believe, $10, so that's like actually kind of pricey, but it is, you know, worth it, you can see. But yeah, uh, cheapness is definitely like, would, would kind of be one of the tenets of a good dive, I would think. Darkness is a good start. This place is classic because it's got uh, red booths, you know, which is kind of classic. Like red lighting is, a, is another one. And it looks uh, like it hasn't seen. Uh, it hasn't changed makeover, since the right. you know Carter administration. Isn't yeah, this, is it true that the uh, founding fathers were all racist here? white guys? Just yeah, I think that's here. the truth. I know this place has been around like 35, maybe 40 years. Yeah. Apparently, this used to be the, the crown jewel of Sansom Street when Sansom was all just like gutter punks and, and tra like a trashy alley. And now it's kind of like a culinary kind of. It's got a whole scene going on with Midtown Village or whatever. But uh, it used to be just all shitholes. There's a, a rating system in the book. He's I'm reading sure. from his own book. I'm reading from my own book. How fucking pathetic is this? One bottle of beer is one toothless old man at the bar. Three bottles of beer is one toothless old man behind the bar. And a five-star dive, which are the dangerous ones, are drink and be merry for tonight you shall die. You shall die. There are dive bars people should not go to. Is that right? Uh, I mean, generally speaking, it I guess it depends on how huge a pussy you are. Definitely some of the ones in North Philly and in West Philly, I was like the only white guy there, which turned out not to be as big a deal as I had made it in my mind. Right. When I walked in, right. I thought like, okay, this is this this could get hairy. But they were they were genuinely like, ex oh, uh, what brings you here? How important are the uh, are the regulars? To the dive bar. You need some people that are loyal to a place. That's what makes it. That's what keeps it open. And some of the the bars in this book only regulars go and if you're not a regular they you kind of feel they, it when you come in yeah right i mean like uh, there's a place in here called nick's tavern i walked in and the bartender and everyone just kind of stared at me and well, who's this guy and the bartender asked me why do you look so fucking scared <laughs> and i it took me aback i was like oh I, i'm sorry did it, do i look scared did it mean uh, should i be scared and she said you asked too many fucking questions i was like all right I think people like me are genuinely curious about places like this. When I go to them, I, I give them the uh, the respect I think they're, they're due. Certain bars have always existed on their own terms. Right. They're idiosyncratic. They make no sense except in this context. I would guess, and correct me if I'm wrong, a dive bar is what it is. 
I think you're right, but I stopped listening about two minutes ago. Good, that's so. exactly what right. I thought. So, yeah. He's Brian McManus, and frankly, he's boring the hell out of me, so thanks. All right, man. Thanks. Let's get the hell out of here. Can we hug? Come on, no, no. Hug. All right. In this place, they'll throw us out. You went to those five-star uh, places, then, then obviously everybody, everybody can, right? All right. No, uh, there, there's you have less some, to live for than there's some people. that are there. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I look, I'm doing this show. I know, right? Exactly. So you're pretty, here with us. Drink like it this again. is pretty much uh, fucking rock bottom.